Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will learn to set up an automation to recover your sales from abandoned carts. So first of all, let me tell you what abandoned carts are. Guys, suppose that your customer is buying something from your e-commerce store. So they go to your store, they add a product in their carts and then at that same very moment, they got distracted and didn't complete the checkout process. So the reason can be anything. They might get an urgent call from their bosses or from their spouses or they have to bring their kids from the school. So anything can happen, guys. This is life. So what they will do, they will just close the checkout window, abandons the cart and you lose a sale. So this automation will help you in reminding those customers that they just have added some product in the cart, but they didn't complete the payment and it will make them come back to the carts and complete the payment process. Let me show you how. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation. Here we have taken the example of Thrivecart application to create a cart and checkout page. And here as and when your customer is going to abandon the cart, a email will be delivered to that customer automatically saying to the customer that they have just added a product in the cart and didn't complete the payment. So this is the link. Please go back to the cart and the checkout page and complete the payment process. So to set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge very easily. So let's set up this automation together with me right now. So guys, to set up this automation, you have to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect first. And to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. And we have pasted this link in the description. And from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so sign up right now and log in to reach here. And from this page, click on this Pabli Connect access now button and you will reach the dashboard. And here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as recover abandoned cards. Okay, automation. So you can give any name. And after that, click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will see the trigger and the action. So automation works on the uh, trigger and action thing. Okay. So guys, trigger is an event which starts or triggers the workflow and the action is the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be abandoning of the cart from Thrivecart page and the action towards the trigger would be to send an email to the person who have just abandoned the cart. Okay. So first of all, you need to set up this trigger from this uh, choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application, which is Thrivecart in our case. So search for Thrivecart here. This is it. Select it. Okay. And in the trigger event, you have to select cart abandoned option. This is it. So it will triggers when a customer enters their email address on the cart page, but leaves without making a purchase. Okay. Select this. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the API token of Thrivecart to make a, make a connection with Thrivecart. So you will find the API token uh, in the setting section of uh, Thrivecart. So here, let me show you how you can find this uh, API token. So this is my Thrivecart applications dashboard guys. And from here, let me click on uh, settings from this profile icon. Under the settings, you will find this API and webhooks tab. Click on API and webhooks. And here you will find this APIs, API keys option. Click on view settings. All right. And from here, you can create a new API key. Let me revoke uh, these keys. Okay. So from this create API key button, you can create a new key. You can give a name to this key also. So I'm giving the name here as abandon card. Okay and I'm clicking on create API key. And this is the key, just copy it and paste it here in this token field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with Thrivecart. And now here it is asking to select the product on which you want to set up this automation. So from this product field guys, 
you you can see all the products that you have uh, created in thrive card let me show you so this is my thrive card and here i have created these products let me show you so these are the checkout pages of the products i have created here i have all these products so you can select your product from this list if you want to uh, select multiple uh, products you can select multiple products also okay you can see by clicking on the products you can add products here okay for now i am just going to show you by adding only one product and i am going to select one product which is this course php for beginners okay i am selecting this only okay and now we are going to click on save and send test request and here you can see it started showing this waiting for the response this means now you have to perform a test submission and the test submission would be the same as the trigger event this means now we have to open the checkout page of this product and we are going to uh, make a demo checkout and we are going to cancel that checkout so this will act as a test submission for us we are going to open the checkout page and we are going to willingly close that checkout page this means we are abandoning the card okay so that's how we can capture the test submission of a card getting abandoned okay so here you can see uh, it is written here it takes minimum of 15 minutes to trigger the webhook response so this means when you open the checkout page and cancels that checkout page it this uh, trigger will take minimum 15 minutes time to capture the response of that cart abandonment okay so uh, and in meantime if the customer in real time after setting up this automation let's say any customer is is on the checkout page and he cancels that checkout page closed that checkout page so this automation will run after 15 minutes minimum and in the meantime if the customer goes back himself and uh, completes the payment this automation will not run okay so it will prevent false running of the automation also okay so let me show you how we can capture the test submission i i have opened this php for beginners course payment page here and let me fill in the details of in any demo customer let the name of the customer is nathan johnson okay the email address of this customer is this the phone number is this and these are all the details and let me click on continue and here uh, it is asking for completing the payment the card number okay so let's say now i got distracted and i now i do not want to continue i am going to abandon this card okay so i am closing this window here okay i have closed this window now we are going to wait for 15 minutes and we will see how the response will appear here in the triggers response okay so guys now you can see we get the response of the abandoned card captured here and it took slightly more than 15 minutes to get this response here but the response is here you can see and we have the same details here of the customer nathan johnson the email address and uh, regarding the purchase regarding the uh, abandoned card you can see and the product's name as well okay so this is how we can capture the response now i want to send an email to this person telling him that uh, he had a product inside the card and he left the card without purchasing it so for that i am going to use gmail application and from this action step you have to select gmail application select it and now the action event would be send an email then click on connect okay and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with gmail so from this window you have to select that gmail account from which you want to send the emailers okay so select that gmail account okay then you have to provide some additional access to pably connect to make this connection just click on continue and you will be connected with gmail like this okay and here it is asking for the recipient's email address and all these fields so uh, to here we have to enter the email address of our customers to whom we are sending those emails so we have received the test data of our test customer here like this so i'm going to map this label here in the second step so to map the label you just have to click here and you will see this thrive card step in the drop down and when you click on it you will see all the details that you have fetched in the first step 
So from here only, I'm going to map this email label like this, okay? And I do not want to put any CC or BCC person, so I'm leaving these two things blank. Here you can enter the sender's name. So in sender's name, you can enter your name or your company's name. So I'm uh, entering that sender's name as Team Pabli, okay? Just for the example. <clears throat> And in the email subject, uh, you can put a relevant subject. So I'm putting the subject as your product is waiting for you in your shopping cart. Okay. So this is how you can type a subject for your customer. Okay. And here uh, I'm leaving this reply to field and you can select the content of the email as plain or HTML. I am selecting plain here. And in the email content, you can type a standard mail for your customers, okay, who are abandoning the card. So let me type an email here. So you can see I have typed the email as this. Hello, your card wasn't empty when you left this website. You can complete your purchase from the link below. And here we have pasted the link of the checkout page of the product okay and here we are saying thank you and this is the name of our company okay and after hello i'm going to map the name of the person from the first step okay from the thrive card step you will get the name of the person just map it so it will make a personalized email for every customer of yours okay right and so we are not sending any file or attachment so you can key, uh, leave these things blank and now you can check your connection with gmail also I guys I have access of this Gmail account that I've mapped here so I can show you how the email will look like so by clicking on save and send test request you can check your connection with the email okay so I'm going to click here and you will see a new email arriving here on this inbox okay so let me click on save and send test request and let's see what happens and this is the response we have received here. Let's check in my inbox if we got a new email and you can see we got a new email here from Team Pavli. Subject is your product is waiting for you in your shopping cart. Shopping cart. And the email is this. Hello Nathan Johnson. Your card was on empty when you left pavli.thrivecard.com. You can complete your purchase from the link below and your customer can reach that checkout page again from this link. Okay, so this is how you can remind your customers to come back to the shopping cart and complete their purchase process. So we are done setting up this automation here. So let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, guys, in the trigger, I connected Thrivecard application with cart abandoned as the trigger event. And after that, I selected the product and captured the response of a test submission. That means a test cart abandonment and it took uh, slightly more than 15 minutes to come to day for the data to come here and after that i connected gmail application to send an email to all my customers who are abandoning the card we mapped the data like this we entered the email uh, content like this okay so when you map the data like this here the name what will happen in real time whenever you receive a cart abandonment issue this data is going to change accordingly and according to the label you have mapped and every customer of yours will receive this email with this data getting changed the name okay that we have mapped here so you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually here after that it will run automatically and the best part is you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.